Hi everyone, my name is Vice and welcome back to Detention. Now, I need to find another puppet. Just one more puppet to complete the weird little puppet theater thing. I'm thinking I might have missed something somewhere back here. Because... Because I'm going to be watched. Because, I mean... I've been everywhere, I'm pretty sure. So I'm guessing I just missed something somewhere in some room I've already been. Maybe. What is... Wait, what is this place? I don't remember that place at all. Is there a... There's no sign. Did I just complete... Was oh, this locked? What the heck? Hold on. Is there a clue? No. No clue. Hold on. I have to pick up the receiver to dial. Okay. Nine. One. One. Crap. Let's see how it is. Okay. Nothing important on the bookshelves. Well, did you look close enough? There's a key in the cabinet. Roof key. So now I can go to roof. Which is... Not gonna be this way, I don't think. But let me just see. Crap. Okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just hold your breath. Just hold your breath and you'll be fine. Getting blurry. But I'm good. Excellent. What is that? Have I not been here? This is looking familiar except for the eyes. Maybe I just missed the creepy eyes peering into the darkness. Hold on. Music room. Okay, I know for a fact there's nothing in there. He's already checked and got a thing from in there. Can't get in there. Broadcasting room. Maybe I missed a puppet in the broadcasting room. I doubt it, though. What is that? This tree growing through the wall, leaves all of the rooms, moss grows on doors and windows. Okay. But no puppet. I mean, thankfully, because as I said in the last episode, puppets are horrifying. So I don't know why I would be actively looking for puppets. Okay, that's where I go to place the puppets. So it's not going to go there. But over here leads back to the main part of where I was at the beginning of this section. Which should... Let me get to the roof. I believe. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> that wasn't necessarily creepy. Creak. But, okay. Hello. I, I don't think I want to be here. <sighs> I, I, I don't, I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. But I guess I have to. Was it a lingered or was it an actual person? Oh, hi, that was lovely. Bloodstained film, okay. So I need to go back to the media room. Is this all that was up here? Okay, looks like I thought there'd be a lot more to the roof than that. Okay, I think the media room's on this floor. But I'm not 100% sure, so let's just check. What is... Mossy smell permeates. So I can't get in through there. Projection room. Okay, so I gotta go to the projection room and put up a different film. Can't play any other films? Yes. Um, there we go. What are what's contained in this film? Probably something 
absolutely horrifying that no mortal eyes should ever set that, that no mortal should ever set their eyes on. That's my guess. What's yours? Zero two five one two one zero two five one two one okay so zero two five one two one I think is that the phone number zero two five one two one that's the only thing oh, the head of the head of it if only I could talk that's the only thing I can think of because I needed a number for the phone, 025121. Wait. No, that wasn't, that's not right. 250121. I need to make sure. Need to be absolutely sure so I don't have to backtrack all the way back here. Come on. Get to the thing. Thank you. So it is... Zero two five, yes. Zero two five. One two one. Okay. Anything else I missed? No. Zero two five one two one. Alright. You remember that too. Zero two five one two one. Zero two five one two one. Zero two five one two one. Such amazing commentary I'm offering here, I know, but Numbers are hard. Numbers are very hard. Zero two five one two one. So if I zero two five one two one say it as many times as I possibly can, that might mean that I actually remember it. Zero two five one two one. Zero two five one two one. I probably should have gone the other way. Oh well, no back out now. Zero two five. One, two, one. Please no, Lantern Inspector. I'd really rather not run into another one of those creepy guys again. Zero, two, five, one, two, one. Although puppets are definitely still creepier than that thing. Even though it is kind of built like a skinny marionette puppet sort of thing. Zero, two, five, one, two, one. And why are there eyes there? And why does she not have anything to say about the zero, two, five, one, two, one about the eyes? Almost to the phone room. Oh, I'm just realizing. Who am I gonna call? Like, who is gonna pick up? Do I want to hear what they have to say? I don't think so, anyways. Zero. Two. Five. One. Two. One. Did I do some wrong? Hold on. Try it again. I have to pick up this. Dang it. Zero. Two. Five. One. Two. One. Okay. Miss Fang, your country appreciates your assistance. Um. Thank you. What's up, Zone? The dial zone. What's happening? What the? Oh hi. Hi there. Um, no thank you? No thank you. Um... Okay. So that was the thing that happened. Hmm. Can't even dial the phone numbers. Windows are covered in protective talismans. Okay, that's good, but do I... Do I really have to go back where that thing was or probably still is oh yay a military police puppet great I have all the puppets now 
Guess this might be the choice. Okay, crap. No, no. I don't care. I am not dealing with that thing again. I can't. I can't get through. Why couldn't I go back? I can't go back at all. That's weird. But at least I didn't see the monstrosity that was behind the window firsthand, and thankfully it didn't see me. At least I don't think it saw me. Better not have seen me. But alright, just a little bit farther, and I can complete the delightful puppet show, which by the looks of it, is going to be a police officer executing a guy with a hood over his head. Isn't that delightful? Ugh. Okay, back through here. I could have easily gotten this puppet a lot earlier if I would have just noticed that door. Because I know I passed through that hallway. I would have had to have passed through that hallway. Come on. There we go. Oh, that, yay. Yay, I got a key out of the puppet's body. Basement key. Oh, how lovely. I got to see someone kill themselves on the roof, and now I get to see all of the horrors that the basement has to offer. At least that makes sense why this is here, because then it makes it easier to just backtrack your way. But before I do anything too rash, like unlocking another door of horrors, I think I'll save right over here. Anyways, how are you liking this game so far? I mean, I'm still a pretty small channel, but as you know, compared to my usual content, this actually has been getting a good amount of views, so I hope you really like this. But, yeah, I mean, this is the perfect difficulty level, too. It's not, hor it's not like, horrifyingly difficult where you're scratching your head for hours trying to figure out what to do. But it's the right difficulty to actually give you a challenge where you feel like it's not just babying you. Uh, that, uh, I do not like these statues. I don't believe that they're statues for one second. Kneeling figure, some blood on so Okay, nothing new to say. A low creepy incense burner. I see the incense has not gone down at all. The cell is empty. It smells like rotting plants. What's that? What kind of criminals do they lock up in here? Okay. I've already looked at all this, but I don't remember a locked door. Was it this? Okay. So, let's see what's in here. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, this looks like a chase scene if I've ever seen one. Maybe that horrifying figure from the window is going to come back to eat my face off. Wait, what? Way, thanks for doing this for me. Not at all. I'm always willing to help if you ask. Though I'm sorry I'd have to drag you all the way up here to my classroom. It's okay, my classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? Of course, miss, absolutely not. One thing though, this booklet is quite sensitive and material. Please be careful with it. Did they know each other before and just can't remember it for some reason? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books could be trouble, but it should be our freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that. Like, are they looking through the cult stuff or the anti-military stuff? Because both are terrifying, but anyways, in fact, I think Miss Yen also said something like that before. I think you're just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You think we're alike? I can't compare to her anyways. She's a principal's daughter and they're known to be a family of successful scholars. 
It's okay. I believe she thinks highly of you. Remember she gave your work a nice compliment once. That doesn't mean anything. She said, strengthen thy wings. The sky's the limit. She really said something like that? Hmm. Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Miss Yen and Mr. Chang a lot, chat a lot. Do you, know, do you maybe know what kind of relationship they have? No, I don't even know who Mr. Chang is. You have nothing to say about that. Nothing at all to say about that. A paper bag left behind by Wei. But club reading list is a gun. I've been weak but once you told me the pen is mightier than the gun. What was that? Oh. I'm walking slowly now. What? Are we in a prison school? Is that it? There's just a school for young prisoners? Um. Wait, is there. Okay, there's a reflection there. Oh, this is some lovely. Oh, hi! This is some lovely sound. Miss Yen? What are you doing over here, and why is your reflection a paper bag man? Or cloth bag man? As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious. Remember what you did? No. What? Have you forgotten? Or do you not want to remember? You. Just a harmless piece of paper, right? Instead, I had to die. He had to die. And many other students had to die. Was it you? You just keep causing me trouble. You're driving me crazy. Sometimes when you trip up, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you? This is all because of you. You've ruined everything. If you had a problem, why couldn't you have come talk to me instead? Shut up. If you had gone, none of this would have happened. Oh. Oh. If you weren't here, all would be well. Um, I don't like this. Whoa, whoa. What is that sound? Why does that sound need to be a thing? Oh, hi. Hello! Justice Cheng Huang. Mom likes to bring all her worries and concerns to you. Sometimes I think it's fruitless, but sometimes there's no one else to look for for two for help. My hands together in silent prayer here are my questions. I Fang Rei Shin invoke your guidance. Okay. She would be concerned about prospects right now. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? Yang Po. The laughing answer. So I can only face reality obediently. And wait until God knows when. Do I have any other choice? Then I also ask, okay, love and family. I mean, you already know about your family, right? Like, like family is, ah, that is a tough question because ask about future love, about your future relationships, that sort of stuff. I could save a lot, but I ask know about what, about your family, but I mean, if it's something about your family, it's probably not anything you can do to change anyway, so... Let's go ahead and say what it says about love. 
Maybe let's live a simple life with loved ones and family. Yin Po, the crying answer. Do not seek what cannot be. Ah, uh, this is just a humble request. You can be so cruel. So I'm guessing the family one would have been horrible too. But that was basically family too. I also asked, oh. I thought she could ask two things, but okay. Asking about family now too. Will my parents who quarrel and fight have a second chance together? Oh, that. Yang Po, the laughing answer. You cannot cry over spilled milk. Is that so? But that was my family. My mom and that person. We used to smile and laugh together. Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? As wise men say, life is pain. Anyone trying to tell you otherwise is selling something. Or is it all just me? Divine answer. So, it is because of me. Can I? Okay, I can't move. Youth is hardly ever given a choice. Push through the grind until their innocence fades away. I have become a wooden horse on the carousel of life, a jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. Well, this is all cheerful, isn't it? Wait, what? No. I don't. Why can't I move faster? I want to go away from the creepy whispering. Why would I go towards it? Is it... Pretty sure it's in Chinese, so I don't... know what they're saying. It's so dark. Is it from the radio? A radio? Seems like the static in the room is coming from this. Maybe I can get something if I tune it a bit. Can't, how do I, there we go. The atmosphere in the room has changed. Let me see. Oh! Is that a piggy bank? It is a piggy bank. Ceramic piggy bank. Big grand eyes waiting to be fed. Okay. So if I tune you back this way. Okay. So this is a bit shorter than the last couple of episodes, but this seems as good a place to stop as any, because this seems like it's going to be a really interesting but long-winded puzzle, so I don't want to have to cut in the middle of that puzzle. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. If you have suggestions for other games you need to play, let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next Vice's Virtues.